Our fourth tip was about being quick and more in the sense of if you are taking photos of people at a reception or just groups of people, um, what advice do you have so that when you do go up and ask people to take their photo, you know your settings are gonna be right and everything's gonna go according to plan? Sure, I think, I think there's three different settings at which, three different uh, situations that you'd be in that you need to be pretty quick. So like one is the event, right? So you get in there, take your shot, get your setting, get out. Two is going up to people and, uh, and seeing them. I think before I'm at a reception and I'm shooting people like, hey, you mind taking a picture? I'll test it on someone that I've already like sort of talked to or built a relationship with. So usually that's my second shooter mm-hmm. or my assistant. So I'll throw up my settings, be like, hey, can you go stand out there? Take a couple shots, make sure it's working. Mm-hmm. Mostly the lighting's not gonna change. Mm-hmm. If not that, I'll go to the DJ or yeah. some other vendor and be like, hey man, I'm just trying to like test my settings. I can, give, I can send you a couple of these shots. Do you mind if I just take a picture of you or two? Mm. And usually they're like super okay with yeah. that and you get their information and then that kind of helps them out and then if they need help, offer help. Uh, it's just kind of a trade work because you're both there working and you're mm-hmm. colleagues yeah. um, even though you're doing different things. So once you nail that, now you can go approach people, has it going, click, you're out. Mm-hmm. Let them enjoy their time. Mm-hmm. You've got the shot, move on to the next couple. And then the third one is posing shots. So um, there's a certain amount of time, you know, in when we're shooting or we're imposing the two of you or imposing for your wedding, we pose the entire wedding party mm-hmm. and the entire wedding guest. I think everyone yeah. that was at your wedding, right? Yeah. Um, I think having a plan and again, going and going to that spot, shooting pictures and knowing your settings before you get there mm-hmm. is so crucial because yeah. you can only hold attention span for people for so long, yeah. especially the bigger the group gets. And for you guys, you don't want to be taking photos all day, and you've been standing there. You're, it's a long day. It's mm-hmm. nervous. You know, we're in the sun. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, you're in this tight suit with a with a tie. Like she's in a dress that she has to like fumble around yeah. with. Like you just want to get in there, know your shots, take them. Mm-hmm. Having a shot list, knowing your settings, making sure that your couple has water. Like yeah. you know, whatever. <laughs> I think one thing too that maybe. My my wedding party and our guest list was rather small, so we didn't have a coordinator. But oh, yeah. having a coordinator who's there who can help you get all the right photos of the specific groupings of people. Um, you, I mean, you can help be in charge of making sure that oh, the bride's parents were there, and then the groom's parents, and then you got them with the siblings. But it's a lot better if the coordinator is there helping with that kind of stuff. And then I think, I don't know if you were shooting with burst mode when you were taking group photos. You were? Yeah. I think that was another thing that came to mind is when you're taking group photos, you never know if people's eyes are going to be open or one person's will be closed. And shooting in burst mode can help with that. Yeah, I think I shoot um, this camera and the Nikon had a, had a continuous high and a continuous low. Mm-hmm. And my continuous low, you can custom set. I set to three photos. Mm-hmm. So um, if I'm taking lots of portrait or portraits or I'm taking lots of group photos, like with everyone, the yeah. last wedding I was at, I shot in Barcelona actually, mm-hmm. um, they wanted to go around to every single person at every single table yeah. and take a picture with them, <laughs> which was fine. Like I'm okay with doing that. Yeah. So I would go in everything, I'd, three photos. And sure enough, like one out of three is not good. So yeah. uh, someone's looking away, hand in pocket, hand, hands, you know. So mm-hmm. yeah, continuous, continuous measure. So um, also keep in mind with the coordinator, when we're talking about the coordinator, um, often if there isn't a coordinator, even if there's one, then they're not doing necessarily the best job, it will fall on the photographer to mm-hmm. lead the uh, charge in what's happening next, yeah. who needs to be where, yeah. all this stuff. And so you have to be prepared because people will be asking you questions constantly. Like, yeah. where are we supposed to do this? Is this next? Like, what's next? Including the couple. And yeah. like they've already set everything aside. So it's kind of charged on you to sort of have a general idea of how the day's gonna go, have a printout, have notes. Um, and I've been, on, I've been on ones where there's coordinators and they are great and they let me know, their assistants let me know and I don't have to do anything. Yeah. But I've been on other weddings where the coordinator is actually terrible yeah. and I have to keep moving things along, ask questions, people are coming to me because mm-hmm. I have everything together. And then there's ones without any coordinator and it really falls on you to kind of help move the things along. Yeah. Um, so just be prepared for that. I think that's just a natural thing that's happened with weddings because the photographer is usually the one that's really on top of everything. Yeah, and it's the first time for the couple getting married to Excellent. do all that. So. That's the other thing is, like, as a photographer, you start to learn, and I've been to so many weddings. Yeah. Like, and I know, I know typically what comes after next, what traditions are, like, what side the bouquets are going on, what side is what, mm-hmm. because you just get used to it. Um, and by the time you get to the reception when the DJ is there, that DJ hasn't necessarily been there the rest of the day. Mm-hmm. So they know what's going on once you get to that point. But up until that point, it's just 
you know, be prepared to know what's going on and feel a lot of questions. <laughs> Cool. Well, those are great tips for being quick and also specifically for taking more group photos at events.